Hi everybody, I'm Sean here. Hope you had a good New Year's. I'm sure we're all glad to see 2020 behind us. But don't expect things to get better very quickly in 2021. I mean, after the first COVID-19 vaccine was approved, there was a surge of hope. We could see the light at the end of the long and dark tunnel. What we didn't take into account was the fact that Trump and his band of incompetent idiots are still in charge. So the rollout of the vaccines has turned into an unmitigated disaster. It was predicted that by now over 20 million people would have received the vaccine. So far, less than 3 million have been vaccinated. And that's just the first dose. Don't forget the vaccines we have now. People have to be vaccinated twice. Just as the Trump administration had no national plan to deal with the pandemic except to let it spread, they never bothered to develop a national plan to distribute the vaccine either. It is estimated at the rate we're going it could take 10 years to get enough Americans vaccinated to develop herd immunity. I guess we shouldn't be surprised. Trump has been a disaster since his first day in the White House. He spent most of his time sitting on the couch watching Fox News, playing golf, and figuring out ways to make a profit from the presidency. He has spent no time learning about policy, or how government works, or the issues he is supposed to make decisions about. His criminal negligence has caused over 348,000 Americans to die. He has sowed division, spread lies and conspiracy theories, and frankly, he has not done one thing to make life better for the average American. He has done more damage to this country than any terrorist or any enemy in our history. And since he lost the election, he has been deliberately seeking to do more damage to make life harder for Joe Biden and to have revenge on Americans who voted against him. Despite the fact that he has shown a complete lack of interest in doing the job that a president does, he still wants to keep the title. And coming up this week, diehard members of the Orange Monkey cult in, in Congress will make one last ditch effort to keep him in the White House. Seeing who Trump is and how he operates, it is hard to fathom that there is anybody that wants to see Trump continue as president. Thanks for listening.